quick tip on pops going up to the jaw. It's interesting, right? Because most people, what they do is they go, hiya, right? And they hit, and that's okay. But what I like to do myself is I like to throw weight, number one. So if we're close like this, and I had to come up, what I want to do is I want to drive and go through them with my legs. So if you watch the legs, what's going to happen is I'm going to explode like I'm jumping up through his jaw. Number two, when I first initially hit him, there's going to be a jolt because I need to go through the tension, right? He's going to fight. He's not just going to sit there and let me do this. I need to hit it and drive with my body. But number three, this is where it gets neat, is when you start driving through, you're going to feel a point to where he has no more room to move his neck. And at that point, there's another, it's like a, a bang with a pop at the end of it which really throws him back. So if you hit him here where he has play, that's great. But if you drive him to the point where he has no play and then you play, he's got nowhere to go. So when you do this, remember, it comes from your legs and there's like this, this pop coming like this through the arms and then there's like a explosion at the end, but you gotta set him. So how you learn this is do it slow. Don't ever do this as you have to. It's very dangerous. You can hurt someone badly. Full disclaimer, don't do this to your friends or your family. It's, it's not a joke. Do this if it's life to threatening. But when you learn it, you won't want to kill your partners either. What you want to do is you want to just slowly push him up till you feel where his head is locked and then go through. Always set him to the max and then just a little bit from the hands, right? Don't crank each other. You'll have you won't have good training sessions. There'll be no one left. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out these next two. I think they'll really help you in your training.